Hi everyone, welcome to Ultimate Ball Class at Core Maximus with moi, Corey. Please make sure you've already done the Core Maximus YouTube warm up. Let's not hurt ourselves. Today, set up near a wall for a reason. You need your wall, your trusty ball. I have a heavier set of weights for legs today. Beginners, take a lighter set of weight for me. And I have one of my trusty little band loops. If you have one, absolutely grab it. If not, it is not necessary. Don't worry, you're going to work hard enough without it. Okay, we have six exercises. Get my trusty stopwatch. Six exercises, one minute each. We're starting at the wall with the squat. So grab our weights, grab our ball, here we go. Now, this part is always the fun part for me when you're here in class watching people try to get their ball at the wall with their weights. So if you are struggling, you're not the only one. Do not worry. For our squat, we're going to put the ball in the small part of our back. We're going to walk our feet forward and lean into the ball just slightly. Arms by side, palms face, shoulders back, chest out, and up and down we go. Sit, knees in line with toes, push through heels, straight back up. So when I say knees in line with toes, we're really trying to avoid those knees dropping in and out through our squat. They should stay pointed straight forward. Our knees are in line with our ankles. Our shoulders and our hips are in a nice straight line. I push through my heels to stand up tall. So I'll sit and push. Next piece of the puzzle is I want you to think of that ball rolling straight up your spine as you come down and then straight back down your spine. So we're fighting to have both our legs working nice and evenly on that. Grip on our weights, nice and relaxed. Don't forget chest out, shoulders down away from ears. 10 seconds, range of motion depends on you. And rest there. Next, push-ups. Okay, lots of options here. So put those weights to the side. We are still, let me check my trusty microphone here. I didn't hit it. Okay, pushing the ball into the wall. Our hands are turned out slightly. Feet back, feet together is harder. Feet apart will make this easier. Shoulders, hips, feet, nice straight line. Inhale down, exhale, strong push. All right, how do we modify? How do we make it harder? How do we make it easier? Range of motion, for sure, plays a puzzle, piece of the puzzle here. So not going as low will make this easier. Feet together will make this harder. Lift one foot will make this harder. If we need to make it easier, maybe we're dealing with a shoulder injury, maybe our, our core is not strong enough yet, or upper body, we bring the ball up to the wall. Or maybe we just want to take it a little bit easier today. Absolutely bring the ball up to the wall. If you're looking for more, we bring the ball away from the wall. Inhale and exhale here. Don't move the ball too far away. I still want you close enough that if the ball starts to slip, you can easily catch yourself. Safety first. Inhale and exhale. Okay. Whew. Great upper body. Okay. If you have a trusty band, here's your breather. If you don't, if you do, grab that. And we are going to place it around both legs and above our knees. So that band above knees. If you want, we can place weights on our hips. I have my trusty little stopwatch. We're going to walk ourselves out until our head and shoulders are resting on the ball. So a slow walk out, head and shoulders resting, and weights rest on your hips. So my feet are shoulder width apart, head and shoulders resting on hips. We're going to drop our bum towards the floor, ball still, knees still, push through your heels, straight back up. Okay, range of motion here is going to depend on flexibility. 
my main focus, yes, main focus is keeping the ball still and the knees still. So this is not about how low can your hips go or how high. It is about keeping those knees nice and strong, nice and still, keeping the ball nice and still. And then your hips just happen to lower and then you push through your heels to bring your hips back up strong, squeezing glutes, shoulders relaxed. Okay, we have time for two and last one here. Fantastic, all right. Walk yourself back up. Do not lose that band if you have it, but you can put your weights away. We're going right into cardio, so I've thrown it in the middle today. Plank jacks. Elbows come onto the ball. Push the ball into the wall. So I'm not on top, I'm not on the side, I'm somewhere in the middle. I come back into this wonderful plank position yet again. Shoulders away from ears, tummy in nice and tight. We're hopping those neat feet in and out. Open, close. Okay, we're here for a minute. So. That means pace yourself. If you feel in it today, we pick up our pace. If you have not worked out with me before, the whole goal on this minute is to get your heart rate up. That means whatever that means to you. So I've modified now to a tap. If hopping is not part of your puzzle, or if we need to tone it down, take a little breather, we step one foot in, tap the other one out. Then when you're ready, or you've progressed, we add our hop in and out. Fighting to keep the ball nice and still. If you need to, you can absolutely place the ball in a corner. That'll also give you more stability on this. 15 seconds left, keep moving. That's the only goal we have through our cardio is to keep moving. Five seconds, three, two, rest. Okay, a little breather, cause I gotta take this off. Two moves left. We are going plies, you're back into legs, at the wall with your weights. Okay, unless your legs need a little reprieve, you can always do this without your weights. Body weight exercises are phenomenal. Okay, I'm starting to sweat. Exercises work, right? Ball is in the small part of my back for a plie. My toes are turned out. Weights are going to rest on my hips. Chest out, shoulders down, and we sit. All right, form on a plie. Shoulders are in line with hips. My knees in this bottom position are in line with my toes. So your flexibility here is also going to dictate how far out we turn. As you come back up, push through your heels, squeeze glutes in that top position. Some people, and people in my class, you know who you are, can be turned extremely far out. I do not have that flexibility, my feet are turned in. So depending on flexibility, um, will depend on how far out we're turned. So much more important to protect those knees than to force a turnout. Last one here and up. Okay, last move, six, six, here we go. I am going to give you a few options on this. Final option is out over the ball. We are in plank, knee to elbow, okay. Last minute, walking myself out. Hands are underneath my shoulders. So I'm just trying to stay in the camera here. I don't wanna to walk too far. Hands under shoulders, shoulders, hips, feet, nice straight line. Shins are on the ball, knee to elbow. Whew. Okay, option two, don't move your feet. Stay in this plank, both feet on the ball, hands under shoulders, hang out here. If it's still too much, Come up to the wall, elbows into the ball, push the ball into the wall, knee to elbow, knee to elbow here. Hips are strong, my hips are not dropping. If that is still too much, stay in plank and then maybe lift one foot up and then the other. If we can, and you're still hanging out with me over here, we have 15 seconds left. Hands under shoulders, active strong push. Spread those fingers out wide. Screw the arm bones into the socket. Belly button pulled in. <sighs> Breathe, five seconds. <sighs> 
almost there. And, oh, that was awesome. Okay, whether it's one, two, or three times, when you are finished, you deserve a cool down. So head to the Core Maximus YouTube page. There's three to pick from. This will thank you. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.